Hey everyone, it's Liz over at the Jones Group. I hope you're making it a great week. Hey, uh, there's so much going on in the market right now and I am being asked on a constant basis, what's happening next? And to be honest with you guys, we are still seeing multiple offers on every property. It has dropped. We're consistently seeing a pullback in the number of offers. A few months ago, it was 20 offers on just about every house. Now we're back down to about seven, six, even five offers on every house. We are seeing that some of our appraisals are going through, not all of them, but uh, agencies are asking for a waiver of appraisal and fewer and fewer buyers are coming to that conclusion that they really want to participate that hard. So uh, what that means is that we will start to see a leveling off of prices. Uh, we looked at our listings. And we're seeing that even our listing count is growing as prices increase. People are coming back, putting their house on the market, getting top dollar, and there's more inventory for everybody. So this will continue. What will slow things down is if the interest rates, which have been threatening to rise a little bit, if they start to hit their highs, uh, we expect possibly up to 1% in the next uh, 12 months. And if that does happen, what you're going to see is a difference in your payment of about $200. So on an average $500,000 house, you're seeing a $200 jump. So if you play that together with large prices, there's really no reason to wait the $200, the higher price. It, it, it doesn't make a whole lot of difference right now, but could it make a lot of difference when you're paying it on pure interest later? So I'm Liz Jones with the Jones Realty Group. I hope that makes sense to you. If not, give me a call. I'll walk you through the scenario. And until next week, bye-bye.